Hello guys, my name is Diego Pacheco and this is a video about DevOps. Today, I'm going to be talking more about Podman. So let's get started. Recently, Docker has changed their uh, subscription plans and usage. And I think one uh, important change is that the fact that now if your company has more than 250 employees or has a, a revenue bigger than $10 million, you need to start paying for the Docker desktop. So uh, this means that developers, uh, if they are in a company higher than 250 employees, really, uh, they need to pay to use Docker. And I believe lots of companies might be paying for Docker, but some other companies might be dropping because of that. So. There is a new uh, open source alternative, a new kit on the block called Podman. And uh, today, I'm going to show how we can install this in Ubuntu and also how we can use it. So first, uh, you need to source. So when you do this dot in Linux, you are sourcing. Uh, you need to source etc slash OS release. Uh, and then uh, you can add this dev um, file and this key um first time i looked at this I, I i thought it was shubuntu and i don't use shubuntu i use ubuntu but this is x ubuntu actually it's not shubuntu but confuse me as well um and when you do the source uh this variable version id gonna be fulfilled uh in my case it's gonna be 20.4 that's the ubuntu i'm using and with that and then I can run um, sudo up to get update, upgrade, and then I can install Podman. Once I install Podman, really, I can use it exactly like Docker. So let's uh, take a look. So basically here uh, in my terminal, I can just type Podman, all right? And I can see uh, that this is uh, installed here. But I can simply do pod, Podman run uh, Redis. And I am running the latest uh, Redis here. So I have Redis 6 and is up and running. Now in another time now, if I just do Podman, yes, I can see I have one image uh, running. One important thing here on the on the image, uh, when you run Podman, I've run it Podman before. That's why when I did Podman run uh, Redis, it just went through. But now they have this thing about uh, name patterns where you need to say from what repository you are pulling to. So I'm getting from Docker.io, but you can specify other uh, repositories. You, you can even change this policy to be short again or use your alias that always uh, add the repository in front of the image for you, right? So that's one uh, minor change. So I literally can do all Docker uh, comments here. Like for instance, uh, if I do inspect, and then um, I go here and I copy the container ID. We're gonna get more information about the container that's up and running, uh, exactly like you would get uh, with uh, Docker. It, we have like the network information and Zell as well and everything, all right? And um, we could, um, if I do uh, Podman PS, we can stop the container. We can do it's just exactly like we would do Docker, right? So if I do stop and then stop it, if I go here to the other terminal, we can see that was a stop it. If I do Podman image, we can see the image I have here. I just have this Redis one. And if I do uh, PS again, you see I don't have uh, anything running. So that's Podman. I believe it will be a uh, natural open source replacement for Docker nowadays. So um, I think they made an extension in Docker until the end of the year. But anyway, uh, if you are into open source, it might be a good time to start playing with uh, Podman. So that's it. I hope you guys like it. See you next time. Take care. Cheers.